hello there, Papper people. It is I, Grandpa Lanky, your thickest registered polysomnographic technologist. Now I got an unboxing video for you. I hate unboxing videos. I think they're the most boring things ever. Plus I've never tested it. So what the hell am I gonna tell you about it, right? I, I got nothing. I got no real world experience. This one's gonna be different. I'm gonna make the unboxing exciting because I'm gonna tell you stories from old Lanky's childhood. <laughs> but also I'm gonna answer some questions at the end of this video, something I'm starting to do. Let's get started. So I ended up actually writing a paper on this and it was such a literary marvel, a masterpiece that uh, it's, it's actually legendary in my family. So I wrote this thing in high school and our teacher was such a hard ass. She was a Stanford English professor, I guess. And then she dropped down to high school. Rumor is she liked the nippy nippy. You had to write a story. So I wrote this story that was a little off color, I admit, but I titled it the log in the, the log in the log. Now, if my mom and dad are watching, they're immediately gonna know what it was. But as a family, I think I was 12 at the time, we were camping at Jedediah Smith State Park in California. Amazing place. And I, the story starts with what I had for breakfast. Hearty meal, we had sausage, bacon, whatever, eggs. And like all camping trips, you get a little bunchy, you don't poop a lot. So the whole story was, we finally get down to the river and we're playing around, I'm having so much fun, I don't wanna get out but I gotta poop. So what I do is I drop down like 10 feet underwater in this river that's slow moving at that spot, drop my pants and I poop. Disgusting, yeah? But I'm a young kid, I'm dumb. Anyway, the whole story goes like how we went rafting down the river, a uh, lot of, lot of uh, rapids and stuff. We finally get into another big pool or it was kind of like our swimming pool or swimming hole. And once we get down there, I'm reunited. I'm reunited with my turd. It's the log in the lake. And the whole thing about it was, I go through, we had this shared, though we were together, we separated, had a shared experience going through the rapids, and we're reunited, yet with separate experiences. Now that I say it out loud, that sounds like a horrible story. Anyway, I got an A plus on it. She held it up like it was the best in the class. Still proud to this day. All right, so what we have here is the oops. It even says no power oops with oops on the top. So this is the Oops Mega One. Now let me open up the other box. You guys want any other stories while you open this? Huh? Probably not after that doozy, huh? Beautiful. This is what I was hoping for. Papa Jason likes this. Oh my God, that's heavy. Ooh. Okay, so what we have here is the Mega One Power Station by Oops. You can see capacity wise is basically one kilowatt hour, otherwise known as 1,024 watt hours. And then we have the Oops solar panel. Now this solar panel, if I'm not mistaken, this should be a 220 watt solar panel. That's a, this is a heavy boy, that, that's girthy. So that begs the question, why am I doing an unboxing of this stuff? So I don't really know anything about this, right? And it's true, I don't know anything about this actual product, but I did promise them I would do an unboxing. But here's what I, what I have done. I have done an older model, oops, long ago. I think I did this in February of 2022. I still have a video online of it. So if you wanna check that one out, this one I'm actually running. I have my microphone. I have my camera is actually plugged into it. And then my computer is plugged into it. Even though, even though I have a perfectly good wall outlet right there and a perfectly good wall outlet right there. But let's go ahead and use the oops because it's part, it's part of the video. All right, let's go ahead and pull this bugger out. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so let's take a look at these side by side. The thing I find interesting is this is bigger for sure. And if I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. I, I think they're the same size. The one difference of the two though that I'm seeing is that this one is actually expandable. So you see right here, you can actually expand this add another uh, backup battery on top. So let's go ahead and swap this over. This is actually a 20 amp max outlet, which is kind of cool. We got to turn on the AC power, see how this thing functions. It's going to be probably, I'm guessing the exact same. Yeah, so now it's powering my camera, it's powering my computer, all the same as it was before. We have USB-C, we have uh, the old uh, 3.0, USB ports, those are way faster. These are fast too. So all in all, seems to be a sturdy little unit. 
Now, this stuff cracks me up. Now, if you send me a campaign overview, I'm, I'm gonna include it. Introduction, inc inclusion of the selling points of EUPS Mega One, affordable emergency power for home backup. It is, I can actually vouch for that. I have used the older EUPS model for our power went out for three days. I used it to actually cycle on and off powering our refrigerator. We also, in conjunction with it and another one that I have, used it for powering our television and then we used AirPlay, so we, we played stuff on AirPlay on it, so we were entertained at night. We used it for lighting at night. We used it for recharging our devices, and all of this because we had the solar panels so we could recharge it during the day. This happened to be during a time when we had a lot of fires in California, so it actually made it really nice. Okay, pain points and solutions. Start with a compelling question or statement about power stations to immediately grab attention. Have you ever not had power, but you need power, and you ask for some help from a higher power? That's a compelling question. So right now we have a lot of hurricanes going through areas of, of the United States. We have Florida about to hit. We had North Carolina just get hit. A lot of people are without power. So if you're needing really just survival stuff, keeping your food from spoiling, keeping the lights on at night so you can at least see some stuff, um, powering tools should you need those, and then really like the purpose of this channel is powering your CPAP device at night so you're not a zombie the next day. Really that's the focus of my channel and these devices, I know the older EUPS <laughs> powers a CPAP for a very long time. So if you wanna go camping or if your power shuts off, you're not literally in the dark and without power for your PAP device. Mention practical scenarios where the EUPS Mega One shines. I don't know, I've never used it, but the other one, uh, like I said, it powers stuff like it's supposed to. Address common pain points faced by the target audience, such as noisy, ongoing costs, and the need for refueling, air pollution, regular maintenance required, produce emissions, heavier. Yeah, I think people without power would actually do just fine with a generator buzzing in their ear all night if it gave them power. But these things are very, very quiet. You can actually use them as an uninter uninterruptible power supply if you're using CPAP. So if your power is on and you have these things plugged into the wall with your PAP device plugged into it, should the power go out, it's, your, your machine's not gonna shut off with it. It'll continue to power on. Suggest who would benefit most from this product. Highlight how the Mega One solves these problems. Well, it provides power when you don't got power. Scenarios and activities. Demonstrate how the product can power various home appliance during blackouts and other emergencies. I mean, if my computer being plugged in doesn't demonstrate that, I don't know what does. However, camping, I have like hooked up my Keurig to this. It's great for that, inflating tires, just regular campsite stuff. And obviously, again, I can't stress it enough, powering your CPAP device. I've even had people use multiple CPAPs hooked up to these devices. Well, not this one, I don't know, but the other one for sure. Call to action, encourage viewers to consider the Mega One for their power needs and share a link. I'll do all that. Today, you can get it for $499, plus you get an additional 5% off with an exclusive code. Now, I've had a lot of these devices. They all seem to work really well. I would say that the EUPS is one that I've used probably the most heavily. The size is right. I don't have to recharge it when I'm gone because it's pretty good size capacity. Same capacity as this guy. So this is exactly what we're looking at right here. The EUPS Portable Power Mega One Station, $500. You can get it, it looks like, off of their website for a little bit less. Oh, see, she's doing the same thing I am. She's in a perfectly good room, but has the oops plugged into her computer. Ah, so this is like the setup I have. The Mega One plus the 240 watt solar, solar panel. Whoa, whoa, Mega One. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of feeling like I got hosed. Uh, I would really, really like to try the Titan V as well as the Titan III. Can we make this happen? Oh, even over here. The Mega Two, I'll take a Mega Two. A Mega Three, even better. A Mega Five? Even better. So I want a Mega 5 or like a Titan 5. Those are both the same capacity. This one's just on wheels, holy hell. Yeah, I want that one. Titan 5 me. Oh, Jocelyn, you couldn't handle a Titan 5. Go yourself, Lego man. All right, so I'll leave some links for these, but you can have the oops, just the regular, just a solar generator for 500 bucks. You can get the Mega 2 for 1,000 bucks. It has double the watt hours. Then if you wanna get the solar panel, 240 watt for 439 bucks. Personally, I think that's a fantastic deal because these things do charge up pretty damn fast, especially in summer. Winter, much less so. They still charge, it's just, it is really slow. Become spring, summer, fall, at least in California, 
charges up pretty fast. Now, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about some comments we got. After watching your video, I ordered the PAPMD tape to try. FYI, neither of your discount codes were accepted when I made my order. So you're saying my CPAP supplies code for PAPMD didn't work on a site that doesn't sell PAPMD? So I'm led to believe that you ordered off of the PAPMD website trying to use a cpapsupplies.com discount code of either Lanky Fall or Lefty 20. And you're mad those didn't work on a different competing website. Now, if you wanna purchase something that cpapsupplies.com actually has, I would highly recommend, and I hope this doesn't seem like offensive, but the Hurricane CPAP dryer is actually one of the best products I think out there for anyone using CPAP therapy or bi-level therapy. Drying your equipment is by far the worst. Cleaning it, super easy. You can use my cleaner, Massbrite. You can find it at Amazon. But the Hurricane dryer, once you have it washed, whether you're using Dawn dish soap, whatever you're using to wash it, drying it is the part that's important because if you don't dry it fast and thoroughly, you're gonna have that mildew, nasty smell in there. Hurricane dryer, you can see right there, you can plug your tube in. It shoots hot, hot air throughout your tube circulates the air very well. Well, it cycles it all around your masks, your accessories, all those masks and accessories you can get at cpapsupplies.com for 20 or 25% off. Again, use discount codes LEFTYFALL or LANKY20. I may have those reversed. You'll just have to check the description box. You can use it for stuff like VCOM. If you don't know what that is, check my videos on VCOM. Someone complained I don't mention them in every video. So let me just mention everything in every video Always, I'll have these epic three hour long videos that no one watches. Thanks for the advice, toots. I actually think it was a dude. This is probably the last one I'm gonna do. Hi, Lanky Lefty, I have a question. My current place of employment is saying that in V auto mode, if you leave the pressure support at zero, that makes the V auto into an auto CPAP. That's true. So pressure support is just inspiratory pressure minus expiratory pressure. So if it's 12 over eight, 12 minus eight is four, four is a pressure support. So if the pressure support is zero, yes, it's an auto CPAP. You still have to have a range though. Let me continue. I'm confused as my readings, as my reading the manual doesn't support that thought. And well, no, that is the thought. I could be wrong, but I thought APAP is ResMed's mode for that. I don't know what that is. I can't get anyone in ResMed to call me back. So wondering what your take is. If the doctor's orders auto set with a max EPAP of 20, and a min EPAP of five, yet I place him on V auto with IPAP 20 and EPAP five and zero pressure support, isn't that the same? So you're, you're missing a lot of information here. So if we just stick with the, because again, we were using says the air curve 10 V auto. So when you set up, if you want it in CPAP mode, you just simply leave on auto CPAP mode, you just wanna leave the pressure support at zero because that is CPAP. Inspiratory pressure matches expiratory pressure, that's CPAP. Now you're just working with ranges. So you always set those for, you don't set, you mentioned EPAP max, they, you don't have that. So you set it for IPAP max and EPAP min. And within that range, they'll always be touching EPAP and IPAP, it is auto CPAP, and they'll just be going up according to the freaking horrible algorithm. So now you're talking about bi-level. Bi-level with the same machine, Really, you're just adding in the pressure support that you want to move. So, for example, you have the EPAP minimum at five and the IPAP maximum at 25. Whatever you set the pressure support to, let's say four, if you have the min set to five, it's gonna start off at nine over five because that's the difference of four. They're always gonna be four apart. So if it goes up by one, it'll be 10 over six, 11 over seven, 12 over eight, 13 over nine. It's always gonna go up all the way to 25 over 21. If you set the pressure support on that range, so it's gonna always stay within the range and always keep that pressure support the same. So same range, 25 max, IPAP max, five EPAP max, pressure support of 10. If you go five is the lowest, pressure support of 10, it's gonna be 15 over five, all the way up to 25 over 15. They're always gonna be, that number, that pressure support is always married. It's, it cannot move, it cannot deviate, but it can go up within those confines. Hopefully that makes sense. And that one exhausted me. So with that, folks in Florida, please, I hope you guys are already prepped for 
your portable power generators, no matter what they are, you're stocked up on water, or better yet, you just get the hell out of Florida. My thoughts and prayers, I cringe, but I'm actually, there's people I know and have relationships with at cpapsupplies.com and I've actually not heard anything back. So I'm actually kind of worried. Um, their website does not show the same warning it did before. So I'm slightly more optimistic about that, but I'm sure there's a lot of work being done in, in uh, responding to some dumb YouTubers, probably not top of list. So I do hope that all the people in the Asheville, North Carolina area are safe. All of our friends at cpapsupplies.com are safe. And all to you, all, to all you folks that are about to get hit in Florida, board up them windows, get the hell out of there, or at least have all your stuff ready to hunker down without power, without water, without food. Is this gonna be the thing that saves you? Probably not, but it might make life a little bit easier. Anyway, anyway, thanks for watching this long if you have. Have a great night, bye. Clean your stinky mask with some mask right available at Amazon. And time for an extra thick Thanks, buddy, to my top level supporters, Doug Toombs, Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Patricia Espelong, Stuart Hetherington, Alan Liu, Chung Chu Chen, Edward Steiner, and Teddy Stegman. Probably messing up the pronunciation, but it is what it is. I'd like to say thank you also to up the these people, you get a shout out. as well as those other people. Screen, but still appreciate the support. Thanks for watching.